what's going on guys welcome back to the channel sorry for the iphone footage but uh my camera is currently at asher's house or i should say my battery's at asher's house and my other battery's dead and my charger's at asher's house so i don't have my battery right now so that's why i'm just gonna make this quick video on the iphone um but let me just show you guys something real quick so i did install some coilovers on the 240 right here i didn't really make a video on it because um there's already a ton of videos out there on youtube of how to install coilovers it's just uh two bolts up here one bolt in the bottom three on the top right there and then two at the bottom on the knuckle but i did get uh making coilovers i got them used for i think a pretty decent price i don't know exactly how much uh the car has dropped so i can't really tell you like that's a three inch drop but what i'm thinking is i want to say like three and a half three inches is how low i went because you know judging from the the gap i had before i do want to go a little bit lower but i also don't want to go too low on the stock wheels because it's going to look really bad and really sunken i do want to get wheels for this car and i will eventually but right now i just threw the coilovers on and i didn't adjust any height or anything i kind of just tossed them in as they were so what i'm going to be doing right now is um measuring up everything and making them all match so they're equally low i do want to go a little tiny bit lower on the rear than the front just because i like that kind of rake you guys can probably tell my car that's the opposite on that um but on 240s i like this rake but I do want to lower the back a tiny bit more than the front you could already probably tell by this shot I just want to make it match because I believe I think this side is a little taller than that side and I think that side's a little taller than inside so it's all weird right now um, and also there's one thing I want to show you guys real quick the coiler is on I checked every single nut and bolt except for this nut right here which is the, the bolt that actually holds the strut on the top hat right here and this one was a little loose which I didn't know and I was driving and I could hear like a clunking sound coming from this side and it was just driving me crazy because I was like, my wheel's gonna fall off, something's gonna fall off. I checked my lug nuts, everything was tight. And then I kind of just went checking everything and I was like, wait, I didn't check that. So I tightened it, it was loose. Obviously with my hand, I couldn't tighten it. It was not that loose, so it was um, loose enough to like move their fingers. But when I got the wrench on there, it was super loose. So I tightened that up, tightened that one up, and then it was all good. So just in case you guys hear like a knocking sound coming from your front shocks or just your coilovers, I'd highly recommend checking this bolt because I'm sure it will come loose. Fun fact, I broke my other coilovers in half on my other 240 because of that same reason. Um, at the time, I was ignorant and I didn't know. And I heard that clunking noise and I thought maybe they're just old shocks. So they're going to make, you know, some clunking noises. And I kept driving one one day, they just broke in half. Luckily, you didn't break as bad as you think it would. By breaking in half, it was still like all like intact. Uh, but when I jacked it up, jacked the car up, it kind of just shot out of there, which is kind of sketch. But that's probably the reason why it broke because that nut was loose and i didn't know all right guys it might not look any different because i only lowered it like half an inch um but just so you guys know on coilovers when you lower um like half an inch on the actual coilover it's almost like an inch total drop i didn't know this but uh when i was lowering this car um i was like oh, i'm just gonna go a little lower so i lowered it actually no i said i was gonna go a lot low so I lowered it like three inches and the subframe was sitting on the ground and the wheels were like off the off the ground or you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's just something to take into consideration with coilovers, especially if you don't want to be doing it over and over again, like adjusting. Um, my bad. But the rear is all level now. The front is level. And uh, now I just need to drive it like this for a bit and debate if I want to go lower or if I want to keep it at this height and then get an alignment. I didn't want to get an alignment right after I threw the coilovers on because I'm super, super decisive. So I always lower a car and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get an alignment. So I go get an alignment and then the next day I'm like, you know what? I want to go lower. So that's why I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, it drives fairly straight, actually. It drives really good. But uh, like I said, I'm just going to drive like this for a little bit. And if I want to go lower, I'll go lower. And then once I have that all adjusted, then I'll go get an, a professional alignment. But I do want to get wheels. I just don't know exactly the style I'm going for. And then also what size. But I'm not going to be running these wheels forever. I just want to keep the stock look of it right now. I, I love red hatches with SE wheels. I don't know why I'm just a butthurt for them. But I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys just to get a video out there. Because I know I didn't get a video out there for you guys this weekend. And if you guys know, I try to post every week, at least once a week, if possible. Um, but there is a lot more videos to come on this car. It's just, I've been pretty busy this whole weekend and I haven't been picking up the camera. 
at actually making videos for you guys. So sorry that this video is a little late. If you guys like to watch them um, when they usually come out. I'm trying to think of what else I can throw in the video to let you guys know. So I guess it's one thing I could throw in the video. Uh, Astro did uh, polish these headlight caps. I don't know exactly the term. I'm not really a detail type of guy. But uh, I think he uh, wet sanded it and then got some compound and then did that and then threw some wax on there. And the camera's probably not picking it up as well. But compared to the hood, oh, you can see like the haziness right there. This paint on this car is really, really bad. And the headlights right there, you can see right there, they look really good. He actually did this one. I know there's swirl marks and, and scratches on there, but he didn't even do it for that long. I kid you not, probably under five minutes, just went over it real quick, just explained it to me. And then he let me do this one. So that's why it's not as good. But uh, I'm telling you, super quick, and it came out that good. It's not obviously the best. I'm sure he could do a lot better. He told me he could do a lot better. But compared to this, when I thought the paint was shot, is a little better because i know we're going to try to do that uh on the as much as we can on the car but this car is going to be getting a paint job so this is just like for the meantime i am planning on doing red just because i've always wanted a red s13 hatch also one last thing before i let you guys go um i am going to be getting i already got new wheels for the 720 they're just uh getting polished right now um they're gonna look killer wheels uh, they're like my dream wheels uh in six lug i should say my dream six lug wheels and I did pick those up a while ago, but I just never told anyone about them just because I didn't really care. Uh, but now that they're actually getting worked on and getting polished and, and all that professionally done, um, they should be here within a week. So probably next week, I'll show you guys those if they're back, which I'm sure they will. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.